Yesi yes Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana yes. Uhuru Kenyatta was in Mwingi County today accompanied by Kalonzo Musyoka and a host of other Azimio leaders. And the politics as to whether Uhuru should retire or not took a center stage. I want us to listen to Mwingi West, Member of Parliament, for his sentiments are going to inform the basis of our analysis right now. Your Excellency, Uru Mwingai Kenyatta, Your Excellency, you jokingly told Kenyans that one day they will miss you. Umepotea kwa We feel as if you are still the president of this country. The way we left this Zipo. Parabara ile uliazisha uko mpaka hapa bondoni kwa aicha kamilika. Sisi tunakuombea don't retire from politics. You are excellent. We trust you. You've done a lot, so much in this region, even in the country, even in Africa. We will move to the right Papa. Kondole Mapema. Ama na Blagante. Kondole Mapema. Kwa kito anauliza 2027 in Tafika Lini. Mwingi West Member of Parliament is technically saying that Kenyans have missed Uhuru Kenyatta. And he says that as a Member of Parliament, he feels that Uhuru Kenyatta is still the President because all developments have actually stalled where Uhuru Kenyatta left them. They are stuck where Uhuru Kenyatta left them, all development projects. And he is imploring upon Uhuru Kenyatta not to retire from politics, but to help in removing an incompetent president, a William Samoe Ruto. That's what that member of parliament is basically saying. And he's saying Kenyans have suffered, and even him as a member of parliament, he has suffered. Mwingi West member of parliament is a wiper MP. I want us to dissect those remarks to put them into perspective for Kenyans to understand the high octane politics being played here. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Let's proceed. Let me start by saying this. No human being is perfect. All great world leaders always had a weakness. If you look at all the presidents who have ruled Kenya, Uhuru Kenyatta is my best president. And I'm saying that because all other former presidents divided us along ethnic and tribal lines, Uhuru Kenyatta tried bringing us together. His only mistake and weakness was that he trusted his lieutenants, his close associates, too much to a point, he thought they were sharing the same vision with him. The allies actually joined hands with the enemy. And that's why we are where we are as a country today. Uhuru Kenyatta trusted his associates too much. 
but he's my best president. The member of parliament is imploring upon Uru Kenyatta not to retire, but to help them kick out William Ruto. I want us to dig deep into that and more so whether Uhuru Kenyatta should retire or not, looking at what is currently happening in the country. Let's dig deep. Yes. Can Uhuru Kenyatta change the mountain or rather take the mountain away from William Ruto regarding Gashagwa's axis? The answer is a very big yes. If you look at all the leaders on the mountain, Uhuru Kenyatta has the best chance of kicking out William Ruto and regard them from the mountain. He just has to be a little bit active on the mountain and Mount Kenya residents will listen to him. And I'm saying that based on what is currently happening on the mountain, they were promised a lot by William Ruto and his team. They were told that they were going to form a government together, a government that was going to care about them, their farming, the COVID sector, tea sector, avocado, macadamia. They were promised a lot. Right now, all that has not been fulfilled. So it's natural that the ground is very much disappointed with William Ruto and his team. If Uhuru can exploit that very well, then I'm very sure he'll kick William Ruto out of the mountain together with his team. He should just exploit that. If you look at Uhuru Kenyatta, Uhuru Kenyatta is a very charismatic leader. He can use that his charismatic nature into endearing himself once more to the people. As a president, Uhuru proved beyond any reasonable doubt that he was a listening president. And we saw that in 2020, during COVID, where he went out of his way to actually give Kenyans some subsidies. Just do your comparison. Assuming William Ruto was the president at that time, Kenyans could have seen fire. So I'm seeing Uru Kenyatta, who was a listening president. And he can also exploit or rather use that strength to endear himself once more to the mountain because currently as Kenya is all other regions in the country have understood that Ruto and his team are not the best of leaders that can rule this country. The problem is only on the mountain and in the Kalenjin Rift Valley. And with the way William Ruto has ruled Uhuru Kenyatta will be listened to more now than he was actually being listened to when he was the president because William Ruto used the sympathy card. He really played on the psychology of the mountain that you see I helped your son against an aggressive Ray Rodinga but your son has actually dumped me. He played that sympathy card and Uru Kenyatta came out as the aggressor while William Ruto came out as the victim. As things are right now, William Ruto is clearly coming out as the aggressor. Uhuru Kenyatta is now being seen as a victim. He can use that card William Ruto used on him to actually bring back the people to him. And from where I sit, nothing stops Uhuru Kenyatta from holding any political position in any party or coalition or from being holding any public office. Nothing stops Uru Kenyatta 
from holding any public office. He can even be a prime minister or even just a cabinet secretary. Nothing stops him from holding such positions. We know that it's only the presidency that he can now not contest again, but he can hold any public office. It's my considered opinion that the Azimu Brigade should actually come together and if possible, form one strong political party with very strong structures. Structures that will nurture leaders for the future in that you grow through the ranks of the party to the top. We, do, we should not afford to have a one-man show like what we are seeing in Kenya Kwanzaa, where the president is the alpha and the omega. I believe that Uhuru Kenyatta can still help Azimu Brigade win the mountain. Things have changed, situations have changed, the mountain people have realized for themselves that Uhuru Kenyatta actually warned them and told them the truth. And for those who can remember, we saw what happened in Gidurai. I think it was during Uhuru Kenyatta's birthday. Gidurai residents never wanted anything to do with William Ruto and Rigadi Gashagwa. Uhuru Kenyatta still has that chance to turn the tide on the mountain. And as I conclude, the MP is just confirming the, in, in the incompetence of Ruto's administration. It's actually true Kenyans have suffered. We have seen a Kwanzaa Brigade launching Uru Kenyatta's projects. They have initiated no new project. In fact, in just under one year, this government has borrowed about two trillion. Uhuru in his 10 year, years, years old, he borrowed only 6.7. So you are seeing that if this government stays in power, then Kenya will be in serious debts and the people will continue suffering. We are seeing a government talking of shareholders, a government clearly dividing Kenyans along ethnic and tribal lines. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. For any other person who may want to support our forum, contact me through that number below, or feel free to channel any kind of a support to that number. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Kenya.